Hello, I'm Martin Gibbons. Um, I'm a field artist based in Middlesex. Um, today I'm going to show you how to um, do a basic drawing of a hedgehog. The one you're looking at at the moment was a commission, so I'll show you how I did the, the drawing to start that. Um, but hopefully you've been practicing that. A sketch a day, especially in these isolation times, can be a real uh, reliever and help your sketching really improve. Um, you can use the TV, there's plenty of nature programs, you can use photos you've taken, you can use magazine photos, but obviously not, not for sale because of copyright and all that malarkey. Um, or you can use videos and things like that. Just use them to practice, get the big shapes down, small shapes, and then just practice looking, looking and seeing what you're drawing. And it should help your sketching improve no end. So when we're out of lockdown, you can all get out in the countryside and do some lovely field sketching. Okay, so the video this week is on uh, night creatures. I've chose this hedgehog. Um, I do like a hedgehog. Um, they're very amiable little characters. So with no further ado, we'll crack on. So I'm just using normal cartridge paper, as I've done last time, and normal HB pencils. Don't need anything fancy. These are from the pound shop, I think. Um, ones with a rubber are good. Everyone makes mistakes, and there's, if anyone tells you you can't rub out, that's rubbish. Just rub it out, start again, or change the bits that you're not happy with. So as with all the other sketches, I'll start with a big shape. And it's a much of an oval shape, the hedgehog. So everyone can draw that, and then a triangular shape for its head. And everyone can, and so basically with a hedgehog, there's not much else to it, but you, you've got to refine the shapes. This is where the looking at the, uh, the creature and understanding how it's all put together. So what we'll do is we'll start putting some detail on now. I'll bring in where the eye is. So again, I'll just draw a circle and it's little pointy up nose would be there. And as that comes down, we have eyebrows. You feel your eyebrows. So that will come up there like that. And then that sort of curves up for a hedgehog. Then this, this sort of comes down for its jawbone, which you can't see. And then the eye is sort of a half circle shape with a little curved bit underneath. And then really looking at the, um, the makeup of the hedgehog, it has a darker, darker sort of element around and up the eye. And then round like that, um, back up there. So basically, this bit's slightly darker. There's not as many bristles on that bit, and then there are bristles here. And then really, that body's probably a bit big, but that doesn't matter. I've got it down on the paper. It's a sketch. I've started quickly, so now I can think about that. So it makes, as with a bird, I'm trying to look at the proportion of the body to the head. And it sort of goes upwards, it doesn't come down, it goes up to a, a sort of big rear end really. So it'd be like that, his feet are there, again, they sort of skulk in the grass, you necessarily wouldn't see the feet. And then that would come there with its ear, would be there. And maybe the bristles would come round like that. And then you'd put your bristles in, or its spines would go all the way around there like this if you were painting this incidentally the easiest way to do this really is with a, a acrylic or an oil where you can put in a dark background and just pick out the highlights of the spines but to bring this one back you can just pick out these highlights on a dark background and it looks like the spines of the hedgehog um, but with pencil, I would just do this. Everyone's going to know what it is once you've got to this stage anyway. And just keep building it up. Building it up. And they sort of point backwards. So when they're going through bushes and things, the, the, the spines don't actually catch on the, the bushes. And there's some more furry stuff down here. Keep going around like that with pencil and then what we'll do is just with the eye they always seem to have a bit of white there and then that's it there so there we go it's a very very basic hedgehog but then we can put it into some context we can put some grass in for the hedgehog here so he's crawling through the undergrowth and as i said earlier get your rubber you don't want those construction lines on there 
but they were useful for me to get something down quickly. If I didn't get something down quickly, you might not even start the sketch. So I put some more grass there and you can flick the grass with a pencil or you can scribble it like that. Depends how much time you've got really. They are quite slow moving. And if you're lucky enough to see one, try and get a photo. Not too many flash photos, but a photo of it. And I'll just thicken up some of the lines. Some little bristles there. It's here, there, or we'll there's some bristles going in there. There we go. There's a hedgehog sketch. As I said, keep practicing your sketching. Birds, anything really. Uh, if you can't even get out, just practice drawing vases or anything. But try and get the basic proportions correct and try and get the, the, the shapes right in your own mind. If you're not happy, have another go. It's just pieces of paper, it doesn't matter. Don't use expensive stuff if you're just starting out. Just use, this is photocopy paper, so just use any paper you got. Basic pencils or rubber. Everyone's probably got some of them at home. You don't need to go to the art shop or anything like that. This is all about being at home, having an hour to yourself to do some sketching and having some fun. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.